Welcome back to the channel guys. Out on an hour wild camp. This time I'm with my, uh, my young lad Will. Uh, we've got the hammocks this time. We're out hammock camping in a nice forest. It's like you make a... <laughs> I wonder what that noise was. He's hiding behind the trees, look. <laughs> Aye, so we're going to get the hammock set up. We're going to... What are we going to do? We're going to put Will here and me over there. So uh, let's crack on and get it done. Now that's a wee man set up in his uh, DD nest hammock. Yeah. <laughs> Waving at the wee window. Oh, I can't. I actually can't. That's alright, mate. Help. I'm here, I'm here. I know, I can see you. He wanted his up first because uh, all the wee beasties and flies that are flying about. So we got him, got him up and in that first. Uh, and then we've got to crack on. And I've got mine set up now. I'll pick a spot. I've actually put him in the spot I was going to go. So I'll find another spot for me. Right then, guys, that's my setup complete. I've got the one tigerous compound hammock and the one tigerous tarp. Gary nosy. Probably seen him before. I've actually put the under blanket on the night. I didn't use mats, so after the year I like an under blanket. Just starting a sleeping bag. So one tigress under blanket also. Inside we've got the new sleeping bag, the Thermarest Saros. Got my rab down boots. I've not got my pillow, I'm gonna get a wee fella the pillow. I was gonna buy a new pillow out of Tiso's but I'm not paying £40 for a pillow. I'll get it online. Got the Snug Pack Bergen again. These wee chairs, I bought them out of Tissot's, OEX. Well, no talk about the price of them, eh? That was an absolute rip-off. But, two comfortable chairs for one, and they're lightweight, but they seem pretty heavy duty. So, aye. And I like the way they're, the frame's the opposite way to the other ends. That's all my food and that, me and the wee man's food, wee table. I've got the Trangia stove again. I've got a wee bit of kindling there. I've got some, I brought some kindling with because I've got any of my wee fire pits with. I'll mooch about and get some uh, bits and pieces that are deadfall or that, but nice dry kindling to get the fire going later on. Just so it's no scorching the ground or that. The wee fella, Will, he's still in the hammock. He'll off you the beasties. <laughs> hey, Will. Yeah. He's in a DD setup. Nest hammock, tarp, I think that's a three and a half by three and a half tarp, yeah it is. I've got an under blanket in the bag for him. Yeah. Hey mate. <laughs> the camera's off. No, it's on. Yes, it's off. So he's got the chair too, we'll not go into the price of them, but it'll rip off like. 50 pounds. I couldn't believe it, 50 pounds for a chair. Each. That's 100 pounds. The wee man's rocking the, the rook. The, uh, 65. We'll probably get him a weird bag because it's a bit long for his back. Uh -huh. Like I say, I'm going to put the under blanket on that for him for tonight. He's got an OEX sleeping bag. Uh -huh. He's going to have my pillow. Actually, mate, uh -huh. might get you my tarp now, that's comfier. Oh, tarp blanket? No, no, that tarp oh. blanket, that's in the house. Yeah. I washed that for the last camp. <laughs> so we're going to chill out here for a wee while. Looks like the sky's clearing. As you can probably see, the sun's coming through the forest. There's not really much room for us, uh, for us putting the drone up. I might uh, walk into a bit of clearing just to see if we get the drone up, but we'll worry about that in a wee while. Right, I'm going to get ready to uh, get the food nothing on the go. We'll chill it for a bit and then I'll get the food on the go. Was it not rainfall on the tarp? Ah, 
Oh well, that was a nice wee downpour of rain. Fairly battered down there for a wee bit. Oh. I was going to want to start getting some food on and then it started pouring the rain so I just sat in a hammock and chilled out. Stayed warm for a bit. Sounds like it's still spitting though. I'll uh, probably boil some water, get the wee man a pot out or something. I think he's wanting a pot now. And we're going to go and look a bit for some wood. Because I told him we'd uh, make a, a wooden mallet today. Show him how to do it and see if he could do it himself. That's the plan anyway. And then later on he's said he's lit a fire of four with a ferro rod. So we'll see if he has. <clears throat> Bit of an opening along there actually. Maybe get the drone up when that rain goes off, if it goes off like. No, I'm better than just lying here and chilling out and listening to the sound of the rain and the birds so. 20 to... We'll chill out for another 20 minutes then we'll uh, think about getting up and getting some food on. You hungry, Will? Will? You hungry? Are you sitting eating any Pringles? <laughs> Sounds like it. <laughs> Best. Right then. Time to get some food on. We're going to go for the, the Trangia 27 again. Perfect size for me and the wee fella. Cooking up our tea, so... I'm going to have burgers, cheeseburgers, and uh, a bit of salad. Did I bring salad? Can't mind. And uh, the wee man's got hot dogs and a couple of pot noodles, his choice. <laughs> so we'll, get, we'll go ahead and we'll get the, the Trangia set up, we'll get some oil and that in. And get some food on because I'm starving. It's a bit chilly today, it's a bit windy, the wind's picking up. I think the wind's meant to pick up through the night also, so kind of glad I brought the under blankets. At least we'll not feel the wind, it'll be nice and toasty. Especially the wee man. He prefers a hammock, so I want him to have a good experience, so that's how I brought the under blanket for him also. <clears throat> Aye, but let's get something on. Starving. Hey then. Stop. You hungry, mate? Will not be long. Life's so much easier with this Trangia gas uh, adapter. Instead of using the, the methylated spirits or that, because it obviously takes a lot longer to cook. So... Uh, cooking with gas. In through there. Through there. Like that. And that goes on top, what like that. Just, we've got the gas bottle again, well, the can, it's wrapped in an old sock. Oh, that wasn't meant to happen, eh? Oh well. As I was saying, now it's bark it. <laughs> My gas is in a sock, keep it warm. Perfect. We man's hot dogs and some cheese. Burgers. Snacks and that. Right then, so, there's hot dogs. I'll get them on. I'm going to put those hot dogs on first, so we'll lift that back off there. Just easier lighting it when that's off. Get it on, turn it. Oh, 
Kuka We got the pot on. Come on. Never touch a uh, olive oil. I'm not doing a touch. We'll just bar those hot dogs in. <laughs> Get them all in. What? <laughs> no, it's the burgers, mate. I'm not doing a bit, eh? Look at that cayman pepper. I'm away in rock salt, boom. I think I'd have flies all over this. <laughs> Got a bit of Baba's sauce. Got a barbecue. Got burger sauce. Got a meal. Boom. Oh, well, that's empty. Any of them has vodka in it. <coughs> oh. <coughs> God, that pepper's going to... Cheeseburgers, got baba sauce on, some uh, caramelised onion, cheddar, cheese. Going to go for some of this burger sauce. Nothing fancy, just a couple of cheeseburgers. Brah, he taste test. <sighs> Tell you one thing, these beasties. When the wind picks up and a bit of drizzle, there's nothing but. As soon as that's off and the sun's out, they're everywhere. Oh, they're fantastic. Perfect. So, did you enjoy your hot dogs, not while I? Yeah. You finished? Yeah. Cool. These burgers are tasty. No. Oh. That's what we had our food. We're just going away for a bit of an explore now. Or we... See if there's a bit of an opening up here. I might be able to get my drone up. There's an opening there like but Or we... up here. But I'm not keen because if the wind picks up, trying to get it back down through that gap might be a pain in the arse. There's Will. 
So this camp down there, you can make, make that out. A couple of nice hammock setups, two different setups. So we're going to go up into here now. It looks like there's a bit of light up here beyond these trees. Opens up a bit, so we'll go up there and we'll have a look. What are you saying? Well, I was going to make a couple of videos for you, so. That sun's a pain in the arse, is it? Right then, man, let's go up there, mate. What did you just say? Mm. <laughs> I said, shut your fire. My man. Whoa. Hey, what you want to do? Whoa. Nah. What? Wait, can I show you this? Ah, give you a second. I've got about a deadfall here, so I'm going to cut it up for the fire later on. See how it goes. Like I say, I said earlier on, I've got dry kindling in a bag, so I'm just going to cut this up and see how it goes. Get a go with a new saw. Salty big boy. I went for the blue handle then because Keith and Sam have got the two uh, different colours. I think Keith's is green and Sam's is maybe black or red, so I just went for something different. Different colour anyway, so let's see how better this is. So I've got the I've got the pocket boy. So the pocket boy is fair enough, it, it rips through it, but bigger stuff like this it struggles obviously, so we'll see how the big boy gets on. Take a wee bit of a bend there. Not much like. Better. Right, chopped up loads of wood, well no loads, but enough for tonight. So, we're going to get the fire pit going now. I've just got one of these wee, they're handy to use. 
cheap and nasty. Very cheap to be honest with you, but it's good to keep it up off forest floor. I've cleared underneath it away, I've put some sand down. I've got some sand for under a, a root or a lofted tree. So I'll put that down, stamped it down. We're going to get the fire going on that. Just to get a bit smoky to get these midges away because it's pretty bad with midges just now. <clears throat> uh, the midges are the wind, the wind's coming and going and so is the rain, so when you think you've got a break for these midges, they're brutal. Hi Wall. Yeah. But we'll get this going, mate. We'll get a wee bit of smoke, eh? We'll be able to sit at the fire and get marshmallows on the go. So let's get the fire lit. Yeah. Oh well. Me and the wee man are sitting roasting uh, marshmallows on the fire. And there we go again. The heavens have opened up, so pain in the arse. We've persevered just now. It feels like it's going off a bit. We're losing the light in here rapid. So still be late. Oh my eyes are stinging now with that smoke. At least the midges are gone, eh? <laughs> Whoa. We're going to just sit here like this and chill out, relax. Hey man. Oh, my eyes! <laughs> hey then, guys. We've actually had to pack all the gear up and get ready to go home. Silly me, I forgot the wee man's uh, inhaler and uh, he really needs it, so at the end of the day, we could always camp again. If something happened to the wee fella, I wouldn't have wouldn't be able to live it down, man. So, cracking camp where it lasted, but family comes first. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you on the next one.